The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Hello, welcome to the Fat Ugly Toad Show. I'm your host, the Fat Ugly Toad, and last time we introduced our new musical director, the Fat Ski Mask Guy. Take it away, the Fat Ski Mask Guy. It sounds great, but I think we still need to turn up your microphone. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll get it right next time. It sounds great, though. I noticed you have some new lighting. Yeah, it's a video filter called Sci-Fi, but I also brought a diffuser for essential oils that changes color. That's cool. It's kind of like a fog machine. It almost looks like your bongos are smoking. Like maybe it's a mini glowing fog machine, I guess. I don't know. Just some fun. That's awesome. I like light shows and fog machines. Just not big ones, I guess. Yeah, well, in an apartment, it's cool to be quiet and stuff, but also I like miniature stuff, I guess. Like my show and tell for today. The Curve, a tiny keychain pocket tool. It's made by Gerber. I usually like Gerber products, and I like this one too. But this logo is a bit much, if you ask me. Mine is pretty beat up from keychain carry, but has only been affected cosmetically and has been rugged otherwise. It has a spring-loaded clip for your keyring. It's tough and works well. What I really like is that the curve has a lock mechanism for the tools included. I personally have more confidence in a folding tool when it locks open. I've carried this tool a long time and the mechanism has never failed. It is a bit awkward to unlock, but I'm okay with that. I would rather it be tricky to close than too easy to close. It also contains a set of tiny screwdrivers. They aren't great or precise, but they work and come in handy. The same lock mechanism works for all four tools. A quick look at the tools. A tiny stainless steel, double ground, oddly shaped little guy. It's almost a kind of spay point, probably for safety, but I guess it's a straight back. It has a nail nick for easier opening. It's a good tiny blade with a million uses, but it isn't a knife. Insert pop culture video reference of Crocodile Dundee here. A large flathead. A flat Phillips head with files. A small flathead. I don't know the screwdriver sizes, but I doubt they're anything standard. This is a tiny belt pouch. It has a snap closure and it's made of super tough material. What? As small as the pouch is, this size comparison shows how tiny the Gerber curve is. Why are you showing this pouch? An Altoid small tin fits perfectly inside this pouch. See where I'm going with this? As you know very well yourself, wintergreen is the greatest of mints. Inside, amongst other things, 
is my other Gerber curve. It's a blue one and it remains here in like new condition ready for the zombie apocalypse. Well, we can all dream, can't we? A Gorilla Tape wrapped nail and a straw stuffed with jute twine tinder and eh, you get the idea. I like making these false sense of security pouches. I know it's stupid, but it's fun. A few tiny tool options, a slight chance to start a fire, and my blue Gerber curve in great condition. I think I like it better than the gray one. The gray one is on my keys and is all scratched up but also gets used frequently and is holding up perfectly except for cosmetically, but whatever. It's an inexpensive pocket tool. There's that giant logo again. The Gerber Curve. Perfect for your keychain or your Altoid Smalls pocket tin or belt pouch. I forgot to previously show the belt loop. I've seen belt buckles bigger than this thing. No one has ever noticed it when I wear it to my knowledge and I forget I even have it on. Thanks for watching my strange show and tell show. We'll be right back after this.